Hello, I'm Fabio Pittaluga with the World Bank GFDRR team. And I'm here today with Ahmad Wani, who's the founder and CEO of One Concern, um, a private company from the Silicon Valley who has joined us at the Understanding Risk Forum 2018 here in Mexico City. And particularly how then you use your artificial intelligence background uh, to really generate products that can change the lives of millions of people. Now initially I thought this problem is restricted to the developing world and to floods. At Stanford we started collaborative research on trying to apply AI to natural disaster sciences. What are some of the lessons learned that you can share with us from your work on how best to communicate risk and how different people perceive risk differently? That has been one of the big challenges which we are faced with right now. It's, of course, we have to measure risk and we have to measure the biases in every estimate which we are trying to make and see and point where the biases are really coming from and then be able to say how uh, the decision maker's ultimate decision is going to be affected by those biases. Combining uh, 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 human, uh, uh, human intelligence with artificial intelligence and having a very rigorous uh, uh, user experience wherein you're not just trying to hide behind the biases but really integrate that to build trust with the user and align it with the decision they're trying to make is crucial. What is the role of inequity and uh, social exclusion in managing risk better and how can artificial intelligence help us to overcome some of those obstacles? It's clear that certain communities, certain people get affected very differently and much more. How cities are trying to, uh, to, to, to cater to these problems is by really making resilience decisions from a holistic point of view. Really taking into account chronic stresses like homelessness, like poverty, like racial inequity, and physical uh, shocks like earthquake risk and flood risk into combined perspective.